So here are all the ingredients that you're going to need. Go ahead and take a screenshot or check the description below because I'm not going to go through every single thing right now. Don't judge my tomatoes. You'll see in a minute why my tomatoes look like this. But go ahead and get all the ingredients you need to start this recipe. This is the reason my tomatoes look like this. Yeah, you have a tomato? Let me see your tomatoes. What color is your tomato? What color is your tomato, Zoe? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and start off by cutting your cabbage in half. I like to shred some of my cabbage and then cut the rest of my cabbage because I like the texture, the different textures. So that's what I went ahead and did. And I put them all in a bowl. Then I cut up the rest of my ingredients. We got to the peppers and diced those up really nice and small. The most important thing, of course, is to make sure you keep a glass of wine on hand for any moment's notice. I use garlic already in a jar. Don't judge me. Cut up my tomatoes, cut up my onions. Get that corned beef out of the can, get your salt and pepper, your thyme, and your oil ready to go. And now is a really good time to take a sip of that wine. Your mise en place is now ready, so let's set the fire and go. I bet you didn't know I knew that. You get real fancy over here. Go ahead and dump in those onions. Make sure you get those peppers in as well. We want to cook these and stir these until they get really soft. And make sure you keep stirring it for three to five minutes so they don't stick to the bottom of your pot. I was constantly watching mine and stirred mine for about five minutes on and off. But we definitely don't want that burnt onion or burnt pepper flavor. That's going to throw everything off. Now go ahead and dump that garlic in and stir that around until it gets a little fragrant. Make sure you do not judge yourself that you use the jarred garlic like I did get all that good cabbage in there fun fact about me i'm not a really big cabbage eater but when it's soft like this i absolutely love it it's, if it's crunchy in the salad i'm kind of avoiding it and picking it out but go ahead and dump that all in next we want to put in that big chunk of corned beef and your tomatoes and your thyme this is where everything is going to start to melt together go ahead and combine it and it should look like this i know it doesn't look like much now but trust me on this this is super delicious put a little bit of ketchup in there it's a little ghetto but do it anyway it gives it a little bit more flavor stir that around mix it in real good don't put too much because you don't want it to taste like ketchup then go ahead and put in your pepper put a lot of it in it if you like a lot put a little if you like a little some people sneeze some people don't when you're done with that make sure you put in your salt too because you got to add salt at this point if you're doing the west indian version you want to add in your hot peppers and let it marinate you want to let this simmer on the pot for about five more minutes and voila here go my french again your corned beef and cabbage is done 